Today we're going to be doing these super easy short faux locks. So if you want to see how to achieve the style, then just keep on watching. So I'm, I just wanted to tell y'all real quick. I'm not sure like where you can find this hair rat out search. And if I could find it, I'll put it in the description box because I love the way that this hair gives these locks texture. So this is what the thing looks like. It's called um, Ghana Twist. It says African braid Ghana Twist. 100% connect line fiber. It's 10 inches long. I got it in a color 4 and I also got um, a pack of the color 2. And it's by Harlem 125. Um, so I just wanted to tell y'all quickly what you'll need. So I used two packs of this and a half of a bundle of the third pack. And I got it in a color 2 and 4. Um, and then I just have this hair to kind of like, this is Cuban twist hair. I just got it to add it into the um twist so that way i have a little bit of i wanted it for the thickness but it also made for a really pretty natural like highlight in the lock if you wrap around and let some of that color peek through it's really pretty and this is the ghana twist hair like you see just how it looks i love it um and then you'll also need some scissors to cut off the excess hair when you get to like wrapping back up and you'll need some nail glue um but i literally just take the hair i'm prepping the hair before i get to like the whole you know full lock um and i just separate some parts of it not all of it but i definitely want the end to be like this and not together so some parts i'll separate some parts i won't and literally just separate it to get it just a little bit thicker and then we got that okay so for the first one like i said i used two strands um these are 10 inches each and this is the section we're going to be working with today okay so i took one strand of that cuban twist hair and i kind of split it down the middle and at first this was going to be a talk through that's why i'm talking but girl i talk too much um so i'm gonna take that one section and start to twist and then i'm gonna add the cuban twist hair in just for like extra length um and i wanted the ones in the front to be a little bit smaller so they are but yeah i'm literally just twisting one side and then twisting them both together twisting the other side and then twisting both sides together um i've explained this so many times in so many different videos but i feel like i'm i never can explain it good enough um but yeah just making a twist basically adding some hair in and then i kind of was like twisting it tight um up until like the end of my hair and then like after i had twisted my hair all in there i kind of just loosely twisted it to be done with it um and so that's what we have and now i'm taking the end of the hair tucking it and then wrapping around it um so that's how you get it to like stay um and then wrapping down i'm literally not wrapping super tight but i'm not wrapping loose either y'all the reason why i say this is so easy because the hair is so textured that it basically does the work for you all you have to do is wrap your hair like and i'm also too making sure to wrap around some of the hair so it peeks through to give like that natural highlight look um, but yeah, this hair is amazing for textured locks. Like, it is just the best. So now we're going to add in the second piece of hair and again, tucking it and wrapping around it so that it all stays in place. Um, and then wrapping down, I'm just trying to make sure I wrap it to like the length that I want. That's why I keep putting my head up to put it to my chest to make sure it's the length that I want. And then after I get it to the length that I want, I cut off the excess hair um, because I'm going to tie it in a knot. So I need one piece of hair from the twist and one piece of the wrapping hair to tie into a knot. And then I wrap them both back up together and it gives like a little peek of the color on the, on the end of the lock as well. Um, but yeah, so then once I wrap up, I'm going to make sure I, you know, 
comb that hair out with my finger and then take the nail glue put it on and this is what makes it not messy because I dab it onto the thing and then I wrap the hair around it into the glue pressing nice and tight so I don't really have to touch it and I don't really get glue on my fingers you get what I'm saying like so I literally just put the glue on and wrap and that's what the lock looks like you see like how it matches my texture so good like y'all I've gotten so many compliments on these locks they're lit um and it's all because of this hair so we're gonna do that one more time um, but this time it's a little bit more sped up. We're literally twisting and then we're going to add in the um, Cuban twist hair and twist one side, then twist it together, twist the other side, then twist it together. Um, and then once I get the hair in and secured, I twist it down to the end of my hair and then um, I just kind of loosely twist it. And honestly, y'all, like this is perfect for the summer because it's really not that long, so it's not hot. And this probably took me like four hours max, and that's including me having to like twist my hair and all of that stuff. So, um, this is lit for the summer, like I'm telling you. So, now we're going to separate the hair again, literally just pulling it apart in random places, not pulling the whole thing apart because then I would take away like the ripples that's in the hair, which is vital to like the texture lock so um make sure like you pull it apart in some places but not every place because you still want it to have that vibe so wrapping it again this one like i said is more sped up but i'm telling you sis this is the e like literally the hair is doing all the work all you got to do is wrap like not too tight not too loose it's so simple so quick and it's so pretty um but yeah, now we're going to add an extra hair, what a second piece, and you see how I made sure to tuck the hair and wrap, 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 um, because that's how you get it to like stay. And these are easy to come out too. You literally just twist them in the opposite direction, or you cut the base where you, you know, put the nail glue on, on, and then you twist in the opposite direction and it literally will start to come loose. Um, so yeah, now we got the part where we're going to cut off some of that excess hair because we don't want it to be too thick when wrapping back up. Um, so we tie it into a knot and then we twist it, I mean not twist it, <laughs> wrap it back up. Um, and then when we get to like the end, we use some nail glue. And like I said, y'all, to make sure you don't get glue in your hand, you see how I'm wrapping the hair into the glue that I put down because it's still wet and that's how you don't get glue all over your nails, girl. And this is the final look or whatever. And these are just some styles that you could do. Like, you get the point little half up, half down sitch. Um, I really love this one, like a high pony, but to the side. Like, so cute. Um, but, yeah, y'all, thank you so, 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 so much for watching. Um, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Drop that in the comments and let me know what you think. And subscribe if you're new. Um, and enjoy the rest of your week, your weekend, whatever it may be. Peace and blessings. Ah!